Hey, JNM here and this is finally the next FreeCAD beginner tutorial, again for part design and this time we are going to create this quite simple object. As in the previous part, we start with the part design workbench, set this drop down to part design and then create a new project. Then we create again the body and then the sketch and I want to create the sketch from the right side. I want to look onto this from the right side. So I click this icon in the toolbar. And then we have a right autographic view for the sketch and can select the Y set plane. This is the plane then that we are going to use for the sketch. Now I can pan and zoom. This is all explained in the first part. And then I select auto constraints. I have to deselect and select it again. There seems to be a bug, at least in my version 18.4 on Windows, but this is a workaround. Okay, now let's use the polyline tool to create the basic shape. I start at the center point and you see it is highlighted in a yellow color. And on the right side of the icon, there is a tiny dot. And this is already an auto constraint, a coincident constraint so that the starting point of the polyline that we're going to draw is kind of fixed to the center. And this is very comfortable that we get this kind of suggested constraints. Here's the next one, a horizontal constraint and then a vertical constraint, depending on the direction of the current line that I'm drawing. Each time I click, I set the next point. And now comes a nice trick. I want to have a circle, a kind of arc. And for this, I can press the M key to switch the polyline tool to create circles, I press the M key three times and then I hold the control key pressed so that I can snap the angle in 45 degree steps to create this half circle. Then press M again to return to the polyline mode and close the shape. Okay, this is the basic sketch, but I want to have a hole inside of the top part. So I will add another circle and for the center point, I will use the one of this half circle of this segment that we added. Okay, so I select the circle tool. Then I hover over this point, it turns yellow. And then I click and draw the circle. Click again and here we have it. By the way, to get rid of the selected tool, press the escape key. Okay, now I want the sketch to be fully defined, fully constrained, so I select the circle, then the radius constraint and set it to let's say 2 millimeters. Great, and the same I do for this circle and I set it to 1 millimeter. Of course you could set it to any radius you like, these are just examples. Alright, then I constrain the length. First off, this edge I set it to 17, why not? And you can move this label downwards so that we can fully see the sketch. Then I set a length for a vertical edge. And now the sketch turns green and this means it is fully constrained. It is fixed, we can't move it around. But of course we could go ahead later on and change everything we like, but we go with these values. Okay, what's next? Now we have the sketch. This has two dimensions, but we want to create the 3D model, right? So we close the sketch. And again we can pan, zoom and even rotate it in 3D space. But to extrude the third dimension, I select pad. And here we have it. Now I can define the length in millimeters. I set it to 12 and I want it to be centered. So I choose symmetric to plane. Okay, quite nice. But as you know, we want to cut off a part from the center, cut out some geometry with a rectangular shape. So what I do is I add another plane for a second sketch and the plane should start from this green face that I selected and then I choose create new datum plane. Here is the plane and then I press OK. Then I select the new datum plane and click on create sketch. Okay, now we are looking onto this plane and I rotate the view counterclockwise you see this is the current viewport. I click on rear again to switch to auto graphic view. And now I sketch the outline of the part that we want to use to cut into the object. For this I use a rectangle. 
and I just click to sketch it onto the plane. And of course I want it to be symmetric to the center. And for this I select two outer points. They are green now, they are selected. And then I click this axis, because I want the rectangle to be symmetric to this axis, so I select this constraint, the symmetry constraint. And now we can be sure that we will cut out this rectangle in a symmetric way. It is not fully constrained, but that's okay for this tutorial. So we can close the sketch anyway. And with the sketch selected, I click this icon in the toolbar, create pocket. Okay, what happens is that this pocket is kind of carved into the object and the pocket has the shape of the rectangle and when we increase the length, we are cutting with this shape more and more into the object. This is a boolean operation with the result of this part. You can hide the datum plane when you select it and press spacebar. And here's the object that you saw in the beginning. Okay, that's it again. I really hope you like it and it was understandable for you. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions, then add these to the comments below. Follow me on my Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. Support me by being my patron. This would be great. And I see you in the next one here on JNM.